Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video. Today we are taking a look at Taskade, which is an underutilized tool, especially for smaller teams. Inside of Taskade, you can create your own workspace or workspaces. You can see what's shared with you. You can star different things. You have a calendar, even a dedicated task view, which shows you your tasks across all of your different workspaces and folders, which is really cool. That's That makes it easy to both have team tasks inside of here, as well as your personal stuff inside of different workspaces. And then you can have all of your tasks in this task view. It is a really good looking and thought through tool. And today I am just going to show you some of the things you, it can do. So let's start a new project. We can use the AI. So uh, let's say I wanted to do a social media, or actually let's use one of the one of the templates so we can view the different prompts here. It has a lot, uh, and I will just use this develop the email. Uh, uh, develop an email marketing campaign uh, and just generate a workspace. You get 1000 AI, uh, AI credits on the free plan and it takes some time to actually generate. But as you can see, it does a great job here. I will just stop generating this. Uh, but let's say I wanted to start a full on blank project. So a project inside of my personal social media space. Let's pray, press new project and start blank. We'll call this social media calendar like this. And as you can see, it has the AI here as well as a team chat if you were to be multiple people inside of here. So this works great for tasks as well as note taking. It is basically uh, basically an outliner when it comes to note taking. They have recently added uh, automations in here as well. So you can create your own uh, automations. I have spent a lot of time in this without actually figuring out everything inside of here. But let's go back to the social media calendar. Let's say I wanted to do a task aid review 2024, which is this video. Uh, I can highlight, I can check it off. I can even move it into different places if I wanted to. You can give this a tag or you can mention someone. You can add this and sync it with your calendar as well. Um, and you can give the whole project here a due date. So let's say my social media calendar were to end at uh, the 30th of April. I could give this uh, a full on due date for the whole project. And this project lives within my personal social media. So a better example might be if I ever was to do a sponsored video. I could add it here. So sponsored video and it would have a due date let's say it was the tw uh, 31st of January and I could go on and I could add different uh, tasks here so it would be film video uh, it would be edit video and so on and I can go into here and I can look at it in a Kanban view uh, and I can move things around quite easily. Uh, or I could look at it uh, in a calendar view uh, if I were to give these due dates, which is quite easy to do inside of here. Uh, I could add notes to this even if I wanted to add some notes into here. And it also has a mind mapping view. There is so much inside of here that it is hard to keep track of. The problem with that is that you will probably end up having uh, to learn the app. But once you learn it, it is quite a powerful tool and having... Uh, 
AI to help you set up things as well is actually quite uh, good. And you also have these uh, AI prompts here and the chat here where you can have different personas uh, as well as different tones as well. So they are doing many great things and overall it is looking like a really good app and they also have a full on second brain folder uh, or template so if I were to call this a second brain so now I'm uh, creating a new folder let's call this second brain I'm still struggling to write we will create this we will not share it with anyone uh, and they have different uh different uh, templates here as well. So let's say I wanted to create my own second brain. I could have my, I could create different projects. Let's say I wanted to have one called projects, projects like this. Uh, and I want one for my resources and so on. Or you could just start blank and you could use the personal uh the personal template here they have a bunch of templates and you can even view more and you will get even more templates so this is the building a second brain template so i could use this into here and it will start creating my projects from the template uh, so this is my second brain here i have an inbox task for the day weekly review Para, so project areas, resources, archive, workout tracker. There is a lot of things inside of there. So as you can see, it does a great job and I can start adding notes into here as well. Uh, another great feature uh, and it has backslash functionality. So you could use the AI or you could actually give this a due date by using the backslash ability or you can mention people or projects inside of here. So if I press add, I can mention a person or I can mention uh, different projects into here. Now, just to show you the last thing, uh, I said it about the due dates, uh, but let's go into here. Let's add a due date for this tomorrow and this next week and as you can see it will or as you hopefully will be able to see it will appear in the calendar view as well uh, so overall a great looking project manager and second brain app and it is not talked about enough although it has some problems given the fact that the learning curve here is huge the a free plan is quite good and it works well with teams as well so that was it for today's video this app is called taskade i will link it down below and as usual if you have any questions leave them down below and i will try to get to them as soon as i can thank you so so much for watching